Hey guys, Crow Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com with a Q&A. Tonight's question comes from E. Rojas19, and his question is, do you think the Mets adequately addressed their issues this offseason? The short answer to that is no, I don't think that they've addressed their issues. And here's why. Uh, coming into this offseason, I said it at the end of last season, that I thought the Mets had three major needs. First was they needed starting pitching. They needed a solid number two to go behind Johan Santana. The next, they had a glaring need for a corner outfielder, specifically left field. And the third need was I felt that they needed a power bat at first base. Let's look at the first one, starting pitching. They didn't bring in anyone of any substance in terms of a starting pitcher. Pitcher, They're basically going back out there with the same rotation that they had penciled in last year. I was a fan of the Mets possibly pursuing John Lackey and Chin Ming Wong in the offseason. They didn't do either of those, so in my opinion, they didn't address their needs at starting pitching. Left field, I will say that they did address their need at left field. They needed a left fielder. They went out and they got Jason Bay, who was the second best left fielder on the market, uh, the best at left fielder being Matt Holliday, uh, who's with the Cardinals. So I think that the Mets did do a good job in addressing their left field need. Now, at first base, they didn't do anything there. Yes, they recently signed Mike Jacobs. We'll see how that works out. I'm not the biggest Jacobs fan out there, but if, you know, Daniel Murphy is going to be the Mets starting first baseman, to me, that's not addressing the need that they had now. Again, we'll see what Jacobs does. We'll also see what uh, the kid in the minors that could be coming up over the next year or two, Ike Davis, what he could bring to the table as well, too, further down the line. But in my opinion, their need for 2010, the Mets did not address their uh, their their need at first base. Uh, also, I, I've also said in the past that I thought that the Mets had a glaring need for a left-handed power bat. If you look at their at their lineup, their lineup is really right-handed heavy. I know Beltran's a switch hitter, but outside of that, and you know they got Jacobs now, so that addresses it somewhat. Uh, if he uh, if he makes the major league team. But I, it's, it's still there, in my opinion, uh, a need for some power from the left-hand side of the plate. So we'll see what they do there. Uh, the Mets tried to move Luis Castillo this offseason. They weren't successful at doing that either. Um, so overall, to answer your question, no, I don't think that the Mets adequately, adequately addressed all their needs this offseason. Yes, they went out and got a left fielder in Jason Bay, which I'm happy with. But they still have a lot of holes in other areas uh, up and down a lineup and in their starting rotation. So we'll see what they do in 2010. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.